Hello, Phil Morris here, the Time and Time Photographer. And I had a uh, article posting where I showed putting some uh, textures in the uh, background, a cloud texture in the background of this uh, model here. And what I want to do is show you a video of how to do it, even though I did a step-by-step -step on the website. Now, I've already brought in the cloud texture, uh, but it is uh, takes a little while to uh, bring it in. And uh, I went ahead and brought that in and I converted it to a smart object and I'm doing just a simple transform on this and uh, I'm going to uh, line it up right about here and bring it in squish it a little bit hit enter and what we need to do is we need to do two versions of this so once it's done transforming I'm going to duplicate the layer and then I'll, I'll rotate it around. So we'll duplicate it. It's still another smart object, so it's not going to lose any of its uh, uh, resolution. And as I rotate it around, I hold down the shift key to, to lock it in, in the uh, horizontal location. And we will set it right there, and we'll accept it. And then what I want to do is I want to figure out uh, what sort of blend mode I want to use. Now, uh, in order to bring things through, we want to do an overlay style blend mode. And let's go down the various uh, ones in this section. Soft light is very muted. Hard light is uh, a lot more contrasty. Vivid light gets more contrasty. And all depending on the sort of look you want, you might want to go up there. But I think in this case, I'm going to stick with overlay. So I will select this and I will go with overlay as well. And uh, that looks uh, pretty decent. And what I'm going to do is I want to pull out uh, a copy of Sierra here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the quick mask tool to select her and try to get all of her in one pass if I can. We've got to be careful around uh, you know, her her bathing suit here because it is very it's got a lot of colors in it so uh, the quick mask tool isn't all that great in selecting all that and we'll go ahead and do that now I am using uh, Adobe uh, Photoshop CS5 so I've got the full-blown version of the refine edge tool where we'll be able to go through and clear up a lot of the hair here and we'll actually be able to uh, uh, do the mask around um, her uh, bikini strap here. We'll turn on smart radius, bump it up about three quarters of the way because this is a very large image and as you can see it already picks out a, a lot of good information there but we need to add to the selection here and or add to the radius. And We'll select around here that looks good. And we can actually do the same thing on our strap there and that will work. We can't do it on this section right here because it, it needs to trace out over. If we need to we'll go through and we can uh, fix that on the mask. Now there's no reason to de decontaminate the colors because we want to keep the orange color since we're using that in the background but I do want to create a new layer with a, a layer mask. Now what that will do is it will create another uh, layer right up above it but it will turn off the uh, the background layer and we need to turn that, that background layer back on as soon as we're done. And we'll turn that background layer on and I'm going to move it up above the clouds here. Oops. I moved the mask, which isn't what we wanted to do. There we go. Now we're on top. Now I can go ahead and turn these on, but the first thing I want to do is, uh, if I turn these on, you'll see that she's kind of blah compared to the background. So let me turn them off so I can pay attention to her and what I want to do is I want to amp her up and make her a little more contrasty. Now there's several ways to do this. One way I like doing is I'll make a duplicate of her 
and then I'm going to make a black and white. Now there's several different black and whites that we can apply here and I know that uh, your initial reaction is to go with the strongest um, uh, contrast between lights and dark and that would be like the high contrast blue filter. But if we do a high contrast red filter it knocks out this background and it seems very even and actually this is what we really want because we want it to be a little more subtle. Now I do want this black and white to only affect this top layer here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the option or alt key and click between the two layers and then it just selects her and uh, that black and white only applies to this. Now we're going to select this uh, layer here and we need to change the mode and we're going to have to go with overlay or something like hard light and I, actually I like hard light because it, it has a, a lot more white here as opposed to the overlay and I think that's going to do it for us so let's turn these back on you know, she looks a lot better uh, than, than that you know, you can see a big difference there. But now we need to take care of this line right here. And that's real simple. We'll turn on a layer mask here. And we will paint with black. And we'll just paint right through there. One quick stripe. Go up here. Do the same thing. Do the same sort of pass. And there we are. Our final image with Sierra. Now once again, my name is Phil Morris, the Time and Time Photographer. Thank you for listening and watching.